Hey there and welcome to Where Crocodile Painting Fun. Um gonna start off, I've already undercoated him or primed him uh, using just a uh, enamel grey primer. And first up then is gonna be I'm gonna paint him brown because I want him to look crocodile. -y. This is a fast paint mission. Um I don't want to be spending massive amounts of time. So I'm gonna use an ink combination with um dry brushing. So first step, painting in brown. I'll catch you in a move. We go then all browned up, which is step one complete. Next, I'm just going to introduce some pinks into the mouth, uh, maybe just around the eye and the, into the belly and sort of underarms where there's no scales. This is just so that when I apply a green ink, I've got some sort of lighter tone pink coming through. So I'm starting to create tonal variation, and also I want to keep that pink running through. So it's like soft underside. And it's a secretly soft crocodile even though it's a cold blooded killing machine. So I'll catch you in a mo. We have it then all pinked up. Uh, you can see that I've been pretty just like slap it on, slap dash. Um, been quite careful to get decent coverage inside the mouth. I put a bit around uh, the, the palms of the hand, around the claws, uh, quite a lot around the belly, under the jaw, anywhere where there isn't scales really. Uh, even put some bits around the toes there. So yeah, it like sort of had some looking like this, and at the moment it looks a bit like slipshod and haphazard, but it'll make sense once I've applied a green ink wash, which I'll just do now. So see you in a second. Ink work's all done on this guy then. Just uh, so you can see the belly. I've also run uh, red ink into the mouth just to make it look like he's been goring on somebody. And as you can see, everything's um, a little bit high contrast at the moment. Uh, not necessarily quite how you want it. So next up, I'm going to be using some dry brushing techniques. I'm just going to dry brush the whole thing with um, it's probably going to be a, a, a pretty light bright green. Uh, the lime from the model color range from Vallejo, I think, uh, and that'll go over the sort of the greeny brown areas just to lighten them up, and then I'll use the warm grey tones and the um, to go over the sort of pink areas and these two tonally where they meet at the edges a bit of crossover doesn't particularly matter and this will give me the sort of a more even handed tone and it will um, make the green make a bit more sense on the mini so I'll get that done I'll be back with you in a moment here's dry brush done then uh, Covering all of the scales, uh, giving you that kind of light green contrast over the top. And with the brown underpainting, it becomes um, a pretty decent colour range. Might do sort of some final highlighting stuff where I'm just picking out bits of scales and leading edges and things just to um, uh, just introduce some light as such, sort of running across the shoulders, uh, across the top of the head around the back. And there's the sort of underbelly in front. So uh, the there's a bit of a blend between where I've dry brushed the green first, that's the Vallejo lime green and then uh, the warm grey. And it just starts blending everything back together. So next up I'm gonna be doing this fun highlights and dropping in all the details like the teeth, the claws and the eyes. Here's the finished wear crocodile then. Uh, mixed some final highlights using khaki and white uh, the white for the opacity slash the brightening of the sort of greeny yellowy browny gunky colour and just to make it a bit lighter than the lime green I put on and also a bit more opaque and then just from the angle that I'm facing the crocodile from so this is the angle we're looking at I just ran highlights in across the shoulders and hand across the top of the head down the spine around the tail You should be able to see it's a bit dark. There you go. And you can, as you can see, it sort of gets lighter towards the tip, and it's just because the light's coming from this angle. So, once again, I hope that this is a well, cool mini or not, you decide, and all that. I'm pretty happy. I think Reaper they make some pretty nice minis. Um, 
on an aside if you want to paint them like this really well actually the, one of the key phases is prepping because as you can see like in between these claws here it's like this should have all been cut away um, maybe done a bit of filling in and around the jaws um, just clean up on the mold I mean this is pretty stuck together as well it's molded in I think about four maybe well there's the tail body head definitely is um or the top of the head the bottom of the jaw is actually um separate but you can see the the cast line here so this is uh, or where it's been stuck together there's a look at the underside uh, i've also put his eyes in in red uh, i gave him a little orange dot and then a pupil as well I left his mouth like a bloody moor because I like that it's a bloody moor. It looks vicious. So I hope this has been some use interest to you. Hope you're painting awesome things. And I hope you like the wear crocodile. Who would have thunk it amount for a palad, I know. Cheers everybody, have a good and take care. Bye bye.